Reverend Bill wants to know about a new thing coming out today called drag and drop videos. Drag and drop videos. Drag and drop your way to amazing looking videos. Let me get a link for you guys. And this one I find kind of fascinating. But there's a bunch of caveats too. Here's kind of the scoop. So drag and drop videos, at first glance, uh, when Max Rowski, the developer, contacted me about this and asked me to take a look at it, I thought, oh, okay, drag and drop videos. It's like Revio, it's like Dropmock, it's like videos. Yet another online service that you can customize and create all these cool looking video clips and stuff. Well, that's not the case with this one. This one is somewhat interesting in the sense that what it does is it has a bunch of templates that you can use and you can kind of peruse these on your own and check them out but they use a program called HitFilm. How many of you have heard of HitFilm? Okay, it's a video editing program. So over here, I'll put this link in the chat box. I heard about this. I've heard awesome things about it. Never really gotten around to checking it out. But HitFilm, first of all, the good news is it's free. They do have a pro version and add-ons that you can get for it and stuff. But the free version is like getting Adobe After Effects or Premiere Pro for free. This software is the real deal as far as a really super high-end full-featured video editor. Okay, so what these kind of give you are templates that you download. So let's go find one real quick. Glitch Slideshow. So instead of adding your content online, you download and install HitFilm, right, and then download the templates and extract them and what you'll end up with is a hit film file so I'm gonna go ahead and launch this I need to set my screen resolution but this will probably demo okay so the first irritating thing is that if you notice here the files get confused when you download them because they all come from Max's computer so the first thing you need to do is kind of open this up to find this stuff media library drag and drop videos slideshows and there's an assets folder so here static noise one is a MOV so I'll just select that and say open after that it's going to pretty much find all of the stuff so the first thing you'll notice is yeah this is hideously complex. Uh, it is indeed like After Effects. It has a lot of the same features that After Effects has. That being said, I'm kind of looking at it as, you know, it may be an interesting addition when I want to really kind of get into some serious video work, right? Now, the bad news is that it's hideously complex. The good news is that the tutorials that come with this template are really quite good. And what you'll find is that it is actually extremely easy to modify this stuff. Let's see what we can do. And I just started playing with this, so it breaks itself down into scenes. These are called composites. And I'm not going to get into all the technical details. What I'm going to do is just see if we can really kind of quickly uh, maybe edit something like this. So scenes over here are composites. So what you can do is you can click and change text, right? No big deal for that one. Here's, a, here's an image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. And then let's go to import and just grab a picture. We'll grab Maggie the Wonder Dog and then basically I'm just going to drag it over and for this one I'll need to resize it. The key is that it just kind of works. <laughs> so there's all this hideously complex stuff here 
all these overlays and things like that and it it's basically just going to let you swap stuff out like that right and then it has all these different scenes uh, here let's try that one more time in fact I'll try to preview this let's rewind it preview so it's kinda nice and I showed you how to do the text uh, again the layers and stuff are very well documented you know how in some of the PowerPoint templates uh, you don't know what it is you're, you need to modify <laughs> well these have have very good descriptions and stuff so let's try that again just see if it works I'm just gonna hit delete and then you can import all kinds of media uh, and stuff like that I'm just gonna go ahead and let's grab us another picture right and then drop it boom and again I need to resize because these are 1280 by 720 images and the thing just works interesting yeah I kinda like that so it's like getting a bunch of After Effects templates and you don't have to know all of the technical crap here to be able to do some pretty good damage here that being said there are just a buttload of really interesting and useful tutorials so I'll go ahead and put this in the chat box the hit film channel it's very popular like I say this is a popular program I've heard about for a long time and uh, I've always kind of wanted to get into it they actually have a new version that just came out again it's free uh, which is kind of sweet and all kinds of tutorials this one is particularly good uh, in fact I think I saved a link for that yeah here we go this guy learn hit film express 2017 in 11 minutes I'm about eight minutes into it and he does some pretty serious damage so you can do a lot of you know heavy duty heavy lifting things in this but you don't have to but I plan on going through some of these tutorials and stuff in fact if you look on the main page here uh, you would be amazed at the kinds of films you know they say film hit film you you can make just stuff that you could do in After Effects In After Effects for those of you who don't know you can literally create anything it doesn't even have to be real you can <laughs> you know there's all kinds of 3d working in 3d space and oh gosh it's just stupid insane what you can do plus I'm gonna be using it to create maybe some video assets so I'll create some stuff maybe with a transparent background and things like that and the other good news that is if you don't want to use hit film you can let's go to these assets okay it comes with thousands of images these are all royalty free uh, and then all kinds of assets like these overlays and things like that so let's go to Camtasia let's go pick one MOV right bad for Camtasia let's see if it works boom and let's roll it okay so it's real short you probably have to put multiples of it on the timeline uh, but you can use most of the stuff in Camtasia the front end is oh gosh I don't know you can check on the sales page a certain number of templates the OTO is like 200 more 200 more scenes and then there's some big assets and stuff like that so that's kinda how it's gonna roll uh, for the launch so that's that and again uh, maybe to kinda put it into my criteria I would say that this is not for the faint of heart 
Uh, but as you kind of saw, in a lot of respects, if there are templates in there that you like, it really wasn't rocket science to modify those. Okay, even easier than PowerPoint, in my opinion. Now, again, I haven't gotten to test all of them out and stuff like that, but you can kind of uh, look through the site, and I think they have all kinds of, you know, demos and samples here, right? But I wouldn't necessarily say this is for everyone by any stretch, but if you're like me, I would love to get into some After Effects. I mean, I used to use it years ago, you know, but I don't want to pay a, a yearly subscription fee for Creative Cloud. And I'm guessing, again, I haven't really gone through the research yet, but I'll bet you if we do some searches, we're going to find all kind of templates and, you know, work out there that users are sharing and you can do mashups on and stuff like that. So I think, uh, you know, it's not going to take me too long to get up to speed. But, you know, if, if you're not making videos using Camtasia or PowerPoint, you know, do not get this necessarily just to get it and go all after effects on everything. <laughs> What's the relationship between hit film and drag and drop video you showed using these together? Let me just clarify. Drag and drop videos is a guy named Max Rowski who created templates that run in hit film. So hit film is a program, it's free. You can get it, you can make your own videos and you know import your own content and make full length feature films if you want. But what Max did was he created all of these so that all we have to do is kind of delete and replace stuff and you know change things like text and all that good stuff. So that's the relationship. There's no direct relationship. It's like me creating assets in Camtasia and you know selling those or giving in those to you guys. Camtasia is the program. What I create is the stuff you know that runs inside Camtasia. Gord says he would like to be able to create fancier alpha transparent transitions. That would be cool all caps. Yeah. So it'll be fun. I think. Okay everybody. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or follow-up or anything like that, just post it in the Facebook group. And with that, I will bid you all good evening. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you next time.